Welcome to Sports Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Myers recalls swiftly shutting down Celtics' Curry trade attempt. Chargers interview David Shaw and Mike Vrabel, increasing head coach candidates to 11. Raptors Rajakovic delivers touching Dayon Milojevic tribute versus Heat. A Kung penalty edges Nigeria past Cote d'Ivoire at Africa Cup of Nations. How King Sabonis takes criticism, support from Hall of Fame dad. Myers recalls swiftly shutting down Celtics' Curry trade attempt. Yahoo! Golden State Warriors general manager Bob Myers recently revealed that the Boston Celtics' Danny Ainge had once tried to trade for superstar Steph Curry. Myers was never seriously considering trading Curry, but he did appreciate that Ainge was doing his job as a GM by inquiring about potential trades. Ainge, who was known for pulling off blockbuster trades during his time as Celtics' GM, recommended Myers to Warriors owner Joe Lacob, which set Myers on his path to becoming a successful executive. Myers has since stepped down as GM and is now working as an NBA analyst for ESPN. Chargers interview David Shaw and Mike Vrabel, increasing head coach candidates to 11. Yahoo! The Los Angeles Chargers interviewed David Shaw and Mike Vrabel for the head coach role, with the Chargers publicly identifying 11 candidates for the position. Shaw left Stanford at the end of the 2022 season, while Vrabel was fired by the Tennessee Titans after six years in charge. Raptors Rajakovic delivers touching Dayon Milojevic tribute versus Heat. Yahoo! Toronto Raptors head coach Darko Rajakovic paid tribute to his late friend, Warriors coach Dayon Milojevic, during the team's game against the Miami Heat. Rajakovic used an opening play inspired by Milojevic, which resulted in a score. After the game, Raptors assistant Jama Malalila awarded Rajakovic with the team's chain, a post-game tradition to acknowledge special contributions to the team's culture and identity. Milojevic had a successful basketball career as both a player and coach, including a stint with the Warriors and coaching two-time NBA MVP Nikola Jokic. A Kung penalty edges Nigeria past Côte d'Ivoire at Africa Cup of Nations. RFI. Nigeria defeated Côte d'Ivoire 1-0 in their second group stage match at the Africa Cup of Nations. The lone goal came from Captain William Akong, who converted a penalty in the 53rd minute. Despite some substitutions by Côte d'Ivoire in an attempt to find an equalizer, Nigeria held on for the victory. With this win, Nigeria sits atop Group D with six points and has secured a spot in the knockout stages. Côte d'Ivoire, on the other hand, will need a victory in their final group stage match against Equatorial Guinea to ensure their place in the next round. How King Sabonis Takes Criticism, Support from Hall of Fame Dad. Yahoo! King's center Demantis Sabonis speaks about his relationship with his father, Arvita Sabonis, a former professional basketball player. Demantis Sabonis said his father didn't push him into the sport but has supported him throughout his career. Arvita Sabonis, who played for the Soviet Union and Lithuanian national teams, later played for the Portland Trail Blazers. Demantis Sabonis told NBC Sports California that his father is usually supportive, but knows when and what to say in certain situations. DC United set for four-game preseason trip to Saudi Arabia, Washington Post. DC United is planning to spend most of its training camp in Saudi Arabia, finalizing an 18-day visit that may lead to annual preseason trips there and visits by Saudi clubs to Washington. DC United will have friendly matches against Saudi clubs Al Waida and Al Etifak, Sudanese club Al Hilal, and the Sudanese national team. If the visit goes well, United would consider returning next winter and hosting Saudi clubs for exhibitions at Audi Field. Saskatchewan student to make history as first woman bobsledder to represent Trinidad and Tobago. CBC. A Kank Oliver, a student at Saskatchewan Polytechnic, is set to become the first woman to compete for Trinidad and Tobago in bobsledding. Oliver will compete in the female monobob event at the Bobsleigh and Skeleton European Championship. Oliver has competed internationally in gymnastics, track and netball, but has never tried bobsledding before. She said she hopes her participation will encourage other women from warm-weather countries to compete in winter sports. Raptors president Masai Ujiri says Christian Coloco's health status is in hands of NBA. The Toronto Star. Christian Coloco, former center for the Toronto Raptors, is currently dealing with a blood clot issue and has been referred to the NBA's fitness to play panel. This prevents him from playing or practicing with an NBA team. Coloco was waived by the Raptors on Wednesday after the trade of Pascal Siakam to the Indiana Pacers. He has not played this season due to a respiratory issue. Coloco was drafted by the Raptors in 2022 and appeared in 58 games last season, averaging 3.1 points, 2.9 rebounds, and 1.0 blocks. New Giants flamethrower Hicks fully embracing transition to starter. Yahoo! 
Jordan Hicks will become a starter for the San Francisco Giants this season after initially plying his trade in the bullpen for the St. Louis Cardinals and Toronto Blue Jays. Hicks, 27, was signed by the Giants on a four-year, $44 million deal to partner with Logan Webb in a San Francisco rotation that saw a lot of changes in 2023. The Giants' bullpen was often used last season as openers, which put a lot of pressure on the bullpen. Giants president of baseball operations Farhan Zaidi said, we're thinking of Jordan very much as a conventional starter. We want him to be in a situation to start games, to have a full starter's workload even thought it might be a little conservative. Hicks has pitched in 212 games in the majors, all but eight of those as a reliever. In his previous eight starts, Hicks was 0-4 with a 5.47 ERA. Why added pressure is on Kyle Shanahan, 49ers to beat Packers, zero blitz. Yahoo! This article discusses the pressure on the San Francisco 49ers coach as the team looks to secure their third straight conference championship berth against the Green Bay Packers. The article is a summary of a conversation between Yahoo Sports' Jason Fitz and Frank Schwab on the Zero Blitz podcast, world champion Josh Kirkkeen to get youngsters turned on to athletics. The Independent. Scottish 1,500-meter world champion, Josh Kerr, has admitted that athletics is behind other sports in terms of entertainment value. He said that athletics is trying to create more rivalries and storylines to attract viewers but needs to improve in this area. UK Athletics' lack of a title sponsor since 2022 and the failure to renegotiate a £3 million a year broadcast deal with the BBC do not help the sport's visibility. The 2023 EY Sports Engagement Index revealed that athletics did not feature in the top 20 for 18- to 24-year-olds, with sports like basketball and boxing proving more popular. Anderson vows Hong Kong will fight for 90 minutes in Asian Cup clash with Iran. South China Morning Post. Hong Kong's national football team head coach, Jorn Anderson, has promised that his team will be significantly different from the one that lost 4-0 to Iran in November, saying they are equipped for whatever opponents ranked 21st in the world throw at them. Iran's head coach, Amir Galeoniai, however, plans to make three or four changes from the first choice 11, with Hong Kong hoping this will give them a small chance. Despite this, Galeoniai said he was not underestimating Hong Kong and expected a very difficult match. Could Chet Holmgren edge Wimbanyama for Rookie of the Year? No cap room. Yahoo! In this article, Yahoo Sports NBA writers Jake Fisher and Dan Devine discuss the mid-season awards in the NBA and specifically focus on the race for the Wilt Chamberlain Trophy, which is given to the league's top rookie. They discuss the performances of several rookies, including Lamelo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton, and Anthony Edwards, and debate who is currently leading the race for the award. The writers also mention the impact that injuries have had on the race, as some rookies have missed significant time due to injury. Overall, they believe that Ball is currently the frontrunner for the Wilt Chamberlain Trophy, but acknowledge that the race is still wide open and that other rookies could emerge as contenders in the second half of the season. Miami T.E. Kim McCormick says he's coming back for ninth year of college. Associated Press. Miami tight end Kem McCormick has announced that he will be returning for a ninth season of college football. McCormick has had a career plagued by season-ending injuries and has received multiple medical redshirts from the NCAA. He spent the first seven seasons of his college career at Oregon before transferring to Miami for the 2023 season. McCormick is believed to be the first player with a ninth season granted by the NCAA in college football. He has undergone at least six surgeries due to football injuries and has played for five different head coaches and caught passes from six different quarterbacks. Today in sports, week ahead, January 19th to January 25th. Associated Press. This article highlights significant events that have occurred in the world of sports on January 19th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd throughout history. Some notable events include Nap LaJoy, Tris Speaker, and Cy Young being elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1937, the Professional Golfers Association approving the participation of blacks in golf tournaments in 1952, and Lance Armstrong admitting to doping in all seven of his Tour de France victories in 2013. Other events include Sandy Koufax becoming the youngest player elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1972, LeBron James becoming the youngest player in NBA history to record a triple-double in 2005, and the New England Patriots winning the AFC Championship game after Baltimore's Billy Cundiff misses a field goal attempt in 2012. Additionally, the article mentions significant achievements in sports such as John Cook becoming the first golfer in PGA history to chip in on two consecutive holes to win a playoff in 1992, Lindsey Vonn winning her record 63rd World Cup victory in 2015 
and Adam Hadwin shooting a 13 under 59 in the Career Builder Challenge in 2017. Overall, the article provides a glimpse into the rich history of sports and the notable moments that have occurred on these specific dates. That's all for today's sports news from the Six Degrees World. I'm Dr. Six, your trusty observer of all things sports related. Let's do a quick recap of today's headlines. Golden State Warriors GM Bob Myers revealed that the Boston Celtics once tried to trade for superstar Steph Curry, but Myers swiftly shut down the trade attempt. The Los Angeles Chargers interviewed David Shaw and Mike Vrabel for their head coach position, increasing the candidate pool to 11. Toronto Raptors head coach Darko Rajakovic paid tribute to his late friend, Warriors coach Dayan Milojevic, during a game against the Miami Heat. Nigeria defeated Côte d'Ivoire 1-0 at the Africa Cup of Nations, securing a spot in the knockout stages. A Kank Oliver, a student from Saskatchewan, will become the first woman to represent Trinidad and Tobago in bobsledding. DC United is planning a preseason trip to Saudi Arabia, which may lead to annual preseason trips and visits from Saudi clubs. Christian Coloco, former center for the Toronto Raptors, is dealing with a blood clot issue and his health status is being assessed by the NBA's Fitness to Play panel. Jordan Hicks is transitioning from the bullpen to become a starter for the San Francisco Giants this season. The San Francisco 49ers are under pressure to beat the Green Bay Packers and secure their third straight conference championship berth. Scottish 1,500-meter world champion Josh Kerr believes athletics needs to improve its entertainment value to attract more viewers. Hong Kong's national football team coach Jorn Anderson promises a different performance against Iran in their upcoming match. Yahoo Sports NBA writers discuss the mid-season race for the Wilt Chamberlain Trophy for the NBA's top rookie. Miami tight end Kem McCormick announces his return for a ninth season of college football. Now, let's dive into some analysis. The attempted trade of Steph Curry by the Celtics is a reminder that even the best players can be subject to trade rumors. It's no surprise that the Warriors shut down the attempt, as Curry is the heart and soul of their franchise. As for the Chargers head coach search, the increasing number of candidates shows that they are taking their time to find the right person for the job. The tribute by Raptors coach Darko Rajakovic to his late friend Dayan Milojevic is a touching moment that shows the bonds and connections within the basketball community. Nigeria's victory at the Africa Cup of Nations solidifies their position as a strong contender in the tournament. Akink Oliver's historic participation in bobsledding for Trinidad and Tobago is an inspiring story that demonstrates the power of breaking barriers and pursuing one's dreams. DC United's preseason trip to Saudi Arabia opens up opportunities for cultural exchange and international collaboration in the world of soccer. Christian Coloco's health issues highlight the importance of player well-being and the NBA's rigorous assessment process. Jordan Hicks' transition from the bullpen to the starting rotation for the Giants is an exciting development that will add depth to their pitching staff. The pressure on the 49ers to win against the Packers showcases the high stakes of playoff football and the expectations placed on coaches. Josh Kerr's comments on athletics' entertainment value emphasize the need for the sport to adapt and engage with a new generation of fans. Hong Kong's coach Jorn Anderson's promise of a different performance against Iran shows the determination of the team to improve and compete. The mid-season race for the Wilt Chamberlain Trophy is heating up, and rookies like Lamelo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton, and Anthony Edwards are making their case for the award. Kem McCormick's return for a ninth season of college football is a testament to his resilience and love for the game. That's it for today's analysis. Remember, sports is not just about the games, but also the stories and moments that make us laugh, cry, and feel inspired. Now, it's your turn. What are your thoughts on today's news? Do you have any questions or opinions? I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts and let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief by email.